So in this video, we're going to be checking out what's new with NVIDIA Omniverse Create. Hey everyone, welcome to another update for NVIDIA Omniverse Create. This is 2022.3. Our final major version to close out the 2022 year, and we can't wait to show you what's in store. This release will be split into two major feature betas, so it'll be the release that just keeps on giving. New usability features and tools include hotkeys, a quick look lighting panel, a ton of new RTX features, including massive speed ups with a new RTX 4 Series GPUs. These RTX updates and this release saw the creation of beautiful content such as RacerX and include our brand new DLSS 3. We've improved large world support and have added so many new physics features that I can't even list them all in this video. So make sure to check the release notes for a full list of everything in this release. Now let's dive in and show you some of the highlights for this NVIDIA Omniverse Create 2022.3 release. Nice. <laughs> All this and more with the new create 2022.3 now in beta all right so this is pretty cool because some of these stuff they added in here actually requested for personally so let's go ahead and check out the release notes because like he said there's so much like this update is packed packed with stuff uh, a couple of things that i really do like obviously i do have the rtx 4090 DLS S3 is out in this version and I was playing around with it a little bit earlier and yes in real time in editor the DLS S3 does make a difference I was running like 218 frames per second in the editor which again is insane so yeah that's pretty much the number one thing that I wanted to check out is DLS S3 and Nvidia Omniverse Create and it's working just fine a couple of new things the multiple viewports <laughs> I've always wanted this so big thanks to Nvidia for you know uh, adding this in here is a big deal. As you all know, I always use dual viewports. It just makes my life a lot easier when I'm editing. They added some light presets, camera light modes, some quick lighting for you there. Uh, and additionally, you can customize hotkeys now. Okay, that's what I'm talking about right there. There's just a lot of quality of life improvements in this version, and I'm freaking loving it. That's pretty cool. RTX, again, this is DLSS3, 17 FPS to 67 FPS. That's a pretty big deal right there. This is pretty cool. Uh, this, this thing right here, I really didn't think about using it but i don't know it's kind of cool now you can project image onto a looks like a rectangular light it's kind of cool kind of like an old projector you can probably use this for many many things like fake projector or something like that that's again really cool it looks like they also improved subsurface visual fidelity it's out of beta now so that's good Got some new material stuff, adapted, adapted sampling and path tracing. I'm going to have to try this out and see what this is all about. Because as you all know, I love path tracing in Omni. And it looks like they increased the count for instances as well. Yep, right here. Increase instances. Oh, this is coming 22.3.1. So that would be crazy. Man, this, this update is massive. It's just crazy big. And again, it's just so cool to watch 
NVIDIA Omniverse grow, you know, from last year and to now, they're adding so much stuff in there. And it looks like they also do TIFF image support now, so that's good. Oh, another thing, this right here, motion path animation for cameras and mesh. This is huge. And again, I'm going to play around with this here because that's a really cool uh, tool that you can use to animate cameras or people or aircrafts. So that's really, really awesome. Physics update. And there's another thing that I've been asking him to do, and it's the Blast um, plugin extension. I... I don't know if it's going to let you record yet, but I'm waiting for them to be able to allow us to record the blast animation and then play it back in a sequencer. So I know I told them about that and I'm hoping that will come because I just want to blow some stuff up in NVIDIA Omniverse and record it. So that would be super cool. All right, man, there's so much stuff in here. And again, there's just a lot of stuff to cover, but basically what I'm looking at right now are just... oh. 3D text generator. Oh, that's kind of dope. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a quick overview of the newest version of NVIDIA Omniverse Create. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like for me to try out because I'm going to be playing around with this in a couple of days and make some videos on it. Like always, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.